Hello and welcome to the tutorial of the self-building infinitely wide, infinitely long honey block bridge. Showcased about two weeks ago in my colored slime box video, if you want to see the showcase, do click on the card on the right top corner of the video right about now. And this bridge is an upgraded version of the same kind of bridge built 364 days from now at the time of recording this tutorial so it's about one year old the old version if you want to see the old version do check out the link in the description below but without any further ado we're going to start building the bridge right now and the first step would be to find two places you want to connect via a bridge those two islands are 24 blocks apart from this block right here to this block right here and I've also decided that I want my bridge to be five blocks wide. So what you need to do is go under the first island, put some blocks here, however high you want your width of the bridge to be, and then go back as many blocks as there are between those two islands right here. So this is the first block, second, third, fourth, and so on until I reach 24 blocks, as this is the distance between those two islands. Now that this is complete, we can finally start putting in our pistons. And you can start with whichever you want, slime block or honey block. We're going to basically interchange them like this as we go. I'm going to start with slime blocks. What you need to do is start at the very first block right here. You go one, two, three, four. Put four slime blocks or honey blocks right here. Then put a sticky piston here. And then put four more slime blocks. Sticky piston for slime blocks, sticky piston for slime blocks, sticky piston for slime blocks. If at the end you still have one block left over, you can just put a piston here. You actually need to put a piston here and a slime block here and another block here, basically extending the distance between two islands by one. However, what you can do to counteract that is instead of putting the obsidian blocks, which we are about to put, um, instead of putting them here, we'll just put them one block further back. And then everything will work just fine. But in the case that you do get the perfect amount of blocks, it can even be three, you know, three slime blocks, if that's what you need. But as long as you don't have one block sticking out, where you have to do this action, you just need to put your obsidian blocks um, below the second island, wherever your bridge will actually go. So now that we've done this here, we will need to put our observers, which is done like this. You go one block down and you put observer here. Go one block down and you put your observer here. One block down, observer here. One block down, observer here. And now it's time to build your engine. Go to the very start of your bridge and put another sticky piston with an observer, just like what we did with the other ones, like here. And then what you need to do is put another observer here, sticky piston here, slime block here, slime box here, sticky piston here, another slime block here, and an observer here. And so now everything that's left to do is repeat the same thing for the other rows of block. Just switching slime block to honey block and then you know, from honey block to slime block again. So for this next part, I'm just going to put honey blocks here instead of slime blocks. I'm going to keep the rest exactly the same. The slime blocks, sorry, the, the sticky pistons and the observers are all going to go in the same places that they did in the... Uh, in the slime block layout like this here and then like this here and now I'm just going to do the same thing again just with slime blocks and you're going to repeat that for all the rows of blocks you have and now that all of this is complete we can finally start building the actual circuitry for the bridge first thing you want to do is put obsidian here and obsidian at the very back just so you are sure that nothing's going to go anywhere when you're building your circuitry. 
So where you want to start is this um, furthest piston right here, the one most distant from the engine. And all you want to do is just build a simple redstone line here. You also want to build a simple redstone line for this guy as well. And you also want to build a simple redstone line here. You then also want to build a simple redstone line there. And you also want a simple redstone line right here. And then once that's done, you want a simple redstone line here. For the entire width of your bridge, obviously. Now between those different those different lines of redstone, you will need quite simply a repeater set to four ticks, and that's it. Then also a repeater set to four ticks. And you just connect that up. Then once again four ticks and you connect it up. And four ticks and you connect it up. And then you also need to connect the engine up, which is also done with a four tick delay. One, two, three, five, six. Um, that's gonna be enough. And boom, now this is everything you need to actually start your flying machine. You can delete those obsidian blocks right here. Do not delete those obsidian blocks with blocks on top of them, sorry, with threads on top of them. But now if we were to start this bridge right here, as we're going to be able to tell, the bridge is going to extend. Boom. But now we somehow need to make the bridge go back, which is, you know, extremely simple. Put some obsidian blocks at the back here so that non-individual module starts going off without other ones actually following. This would just break the entire machinery. And what we then need to do is put some observer blocks right here, which face upwards. Boom, boom, boom. And then put some obsidian right here. I'm going to quickly power this because we're going to place the lever somewhere else. But now that those guys are here, you need a simple redstone line right here. I'm now going to place this lever somewhere else. Boom, because we want those two guys to work separately. So I do not want you know, the, one, the one circuit to be connected to the other one. So I can prevent that by simply running a repeater in here, which will then power this redstone line as well as this redstone line. And now this right here is what's going to be my actual new lever. We can we can actually go up with it now here and then I'm going to like make a turn here and then let's say we just put a block here and power this. We now don't need that anymore but what we also don't need is those obsidian blocks right here. So now if we press this lever again everything is going to go back with starting position, except something broke here. I don't exactly see why that would be. Let me quickly revert. Oh, I see. I put this observer the wrong way around. Hmm. Hmm. But as you can see, doing those tiny mistakes can prove to be fatal. Since now I basically need to rebuild the entire bridge. A few preventably wasted minutes later and the entire bridge has been reconstructed. However, I also changed this bit around a little bit. So now this redstone line is powered by one tick of delay right here. And then you go here and have a redstone torch, which powers this bottom redstone line, which powers those sticky pistons, which are all holding up those observer blocks which output the signal into those obsidian blocks. You know, previously we would power those observer blocks directly using a redstone line right here, but now I've changed it to those sticky pistons right here, which just prevents a lot of weird behaviors later on. However, now that that's out of the way, let me start the entire machine again, and let's watch it extend all the way to the other island over there. It's almost there. 
almost there. And the speed is also like extremely nice, in my opinion at least. Now, if we power or depower this lever right here, those pistons are going to extend, powering those sticky pistons right there. So let's do that real quick. And you know, powering those pistons obviously will make the entire bridge retract again. Boom! And so this, believe it or not, is everything that you need to do to create a functional, infinitely wide, infinitely long, self-extendable bridge. I really hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please make sure you click the like button as it really helps my channel get out there. But this was everything for today. Don't forget to subscribe and see you later.